Hi, Mary with Reviewer's Diary. I am here to do update number two for my Finish 14 by February 14th. I'm going to start first with the shampoo and conditioner. Yikes. The air has kind of gotten sucked out of these a little bit. I'm not ever buying this again. For those of you who are wondering why is she using something that's not cruelty free, when all she talks about is using things that are cruelty free. I had these in my linen closet and I have another set that are also partially full. So I'm going to use these things up and get them out of my life. I do have some cruelty free shampoo and conditioner that I got um, and so I'll be moving on to that. Okay, so first the daily conditioner is actually like all the way oh, down to here. It's really hard to get it out, so I actually have to stand this on its head because I think the pump doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the bottle, which is really aggravating. Shouldn't you be able to get the rest of the product out without, you know, juggling it over your head? So this will definitely be done by February 14th. This actually goes pretty quick. The next thing is the shampoo, and so I'm only down to here, but this also will probably be gone by February 14th. Then there's, of course, this Clinique cleanser, also not cruelty-free, trying to use it up. I use this with my face brush, and it is down to here. So I've used it quite a bit. I'm not really that wild about this stuff. So I'll be kind of happy when it's gone. I am not that impressed. Next thing I have is this Almay TLC does not look like I got very far, but it also looks like it's separated a little bit. Yeah, it's separated a little. I think I may have to stop using this altogether, so maybe I'll sub in something else. I'll have to think about it. We'll see. I'll shake it up, see if it still works. I do like it but it does look like it's separated. And I have a ton of foundation, so there's no reason for me to use something that's separated. Oh well. Now this Mankind for Women, I added to this challenge, and this is just taking me a lifetime to finish. This actually was in, I believe it was finished 16 by 2016. Of course I didn't finish it, and that is where I am now. Sparkle and Shine Lotion from Ulta. Started out almost completely full. It was up to this line here. And now it's you can see the level. It's like really easy to see. I like it. I don't love it. I don't love the scent. The sparkle is not that intense. So you can wear this without looking all sparkly. This stick concealer is something that I wanted to use up. I will never use this on video again, but anyway, I have used quite a bit of it. Uh, it tends to settle in the fine lines, and on close inspection, you can really see it. And actually, the cap is cracked, so I think I might just throw it out. This was an add-on item. Okay, another add-on item was my NYC powder. NYC is not cruelty-free, and so therefore I've been trying to use this. I had it in, I think it was in 16 by 2016, and my goal was really to just hit pan, and I did, and, I, and then some now. So I don't think this will be done on February 14th, but I'll keep using it until it's gone. Okay, so let's see, what have I used up? Um, the Olay Moisture Body Wash picture there is completely gone. Bath and Body Works 24 Hour Moisture Shea Body Cream and Moonlight Moonlit Path. Now this is about a year old. It was given to me um, last Christmas. The smell is starting to go a little bit so it's good that I'm focusing on this. This I think is right around here because you can hear the echo. Uh, and there it goes because you can't see through this no matter what you do um, it's like impossible but it's right around there I'll make a point of using this up by February 14th 
it's possible. Okay, and paired with this to make a full item was a Gilchrist and Soames cream. There's a picture of it right there, and that was gone pretty quick. I also had Olay Regenerist Serum. There's a picture of it there. That was gone pretty quick, too. Part of my finish 14 by 2014 was this Tarte Bronzer. This actually came in an Ipsy bag. It's not full size, but you could really fool me. It's lasting forever. You can see that there are some marks in it now. Um, I used it tonight. It's really it's starting to show wear, but I don't know if it's going to be gone by February 14th. So my goal really will be just to hit pan. And then I'll be able to finish it faster. It seems like things go much faster when you you know, make a point to just at least hit pan, and then you hit pan, and then whammo, all of a sudden you're done. Uh, another thing in this challenge is this Milani Eye Primer. I've been using a different primer, a more expensive primer, to use it up. So I guess I should make a goal of trying to finish this. This is like pretty old, so if it's not done, I'm going to have to toss it and buy a replacement. I also had this Elizabeth Arden blush. No comment. <laughs> Um, this Bobbi Brown mascara, like I said, I know Bobbi Brown, you're not cruelty free, shame on you. Um, but I don't know how old this is, so I can't trade it because that's all I need is to trade it to somebody and have them get an infection. I've never opened this mascara, so when I open it, hopefully it doesn't smell too bad or doesn't smell bad at all. Another thing I had in here was my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. It's really hard to measure any progress, but I can tell by how deep this thing goes. And there it is right there. And it's got a pretty good pit in it. I think I'm going to probably hit pan by February 14th. I'm trying to use this up so I can get it out of my collection because I don't need to have L'Oreal Cosmetics, which are not cruelty free, in my life anymore. Um, this doll 10 was also part of that and you can see I'm starting to make some progress, but I hate cream blush I can't master it. I need practice. So I've been using it, but sporadically I have this rouge bunny this actually was laying on its side. I had it a mark for right here and holding it up to the light it looks like it is down to here. So I will mark that. Okay. I'm going to make a point of having this done by February 14th. It's the only lip gloss that I have that I'm, I have a ton of lip gloss, but it's the only one that I have in any challenges. I also had this this nice uh, retinol cream from Good and Natural. It's a health food kind of thing, so I believe it's cruelty free. I like the smell. It smells like carrots, so I guess that's the vitamin A in it. But you can see that I've used quite a bit of it. I've only used this on my neck, so you know, as long as I remember to use it, that's the whole point. And this eye cream is pretty low like you can see the bottom of the jar now this will definitely be gone by february 14th no problem okay well that's it <clears throat> i think i've made some pretty decent progress and quite a few of these items will be completely gone by february 14th which will be awesome it'll be yet another step to getting some of this stuff i have such a giant amount of stuff but some of this stuff, especially some of the things that are not cruelty free, it'll be nice to get them out of my life and gone. So thank you for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary and my 14 by February 14th. Thank you for watching. Good night.